Hello, good day. My name is Amiel Spencer, and today I'll be showing you how to install SQL Server Management Studio 2012 on your Windows PC, more specifically on Windows 8.1. So, first, you'll have to go to the Microsoft website and download the files. So, I'm going to open my browser and type in SQL Server. Management Studio 2012 and as you can see the first link by Microsoft that's where we're going this is the download page it will give you the detailed system requirements and install instructions plus additional information if you want to go through it you can I'm going to show you how to install it so First, select your language for me is English and click download and this window should open up now as you can see there are multiple files here now the files that we're going to install comes in both 64 bit and 32 bit so if you have a 64 bit operating system you will download the files for 64 bit and if you have a 32 bit operating system you're going to download the x86 files I have 64 bit so I'll be downloading the 64 bit files there are two files you will need to download first is the first the first one which is the enu slash x64 slash sql expr which is sql explorer underscore x64 which is 64 bit underscore enu emulator so that's the first file you're going to download you just put the check by the box it is approximately 132.3 megabytes and the second file which is the management management studio as you can see right here is 602 megabytes and as I said before you will it have the same for the 32 bit which is this and the management studio which is this so you just select your files appropriately once you selected the two click next and your download shall start automatically and you can save it to your desktop while we saving it in my downloads folder because I have already downloaded it so you're going to minimize the browser and first once you have your two files the first file I would like you to install is the SQL Express X64 which is the first file we put the tick by we're going to install this first this is what is going to enable your computer to become on server and once you install Management Studio you'll be able to connect it if you do not install this you will not be able to search or connect to any server on the network because it doesn't have any so first you're going to install SQL Express one as administrator click yes it's going to extract the files needed for installing so this will take a minute or two and as you can see now this window should open as you can see there are different options you can select planning which will give you all the requirements and documentation online installation which is the installation of the software maintenance um, to upgrade or repair if you have any repairs will be done on the installation and the system configuration other tools just to check to make sure that your system could properly run the software so we're going to go to installation first and we're going to select the first option new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation click that and give it a moment to process I 
as you can see once it finished processing this window should open up this is the license term what I'd like you to do if you had the time you could write read it but we're not going to do that now we're going to put a take by the accept license term and the second box here states for sending users data to Microsoft in terms of how the software running on your computer and so forth you can leave that all unselected once you put a tick by the accept just click next and this is the update needed for the installation so it automatically checks for any updates online so when it's running and installing it will update right away so click next and here is the status of the installation of our program currently it, it just scanned for product updates that is complete and now it is downloading those product updates so as of right now it's about 26 megabytes so that should take just a few minutes then it's going to extract that then install it so this is just a progress status bar this will show you how far along the update and installation is Download completed, extracting in progress. As you can see, extraction is finished. Now the extraction would take about 15-20 minutes according to your computer, so be prepared to wait a bit and now it's setting up the installation files to be installed once the installation files have finished being set up the window will close and you will get this progress screen this progress pop up let's give it a minute Alright, once that is finished, now it's going to install all the services and features of SQL Server. As you can see, there are three services and features that are ticked. Database Engine Server, SQL Server Web Application, and SQL Client Connectivity SDK. Make sure all three are selected and click Next. Now this is where you're going to select the name for your server. Now as this is the first time I'm installing SQL Server on this computer, you could leave it at default instance. But if you already installed before and you want to install a new server with a different name, you have to select the name instance and give it a different name. But since it's the first one, fresh install, select default instance and click next. As you can see, it gives you a few different options. Now, as we are just basically doing a basic install, um, you should leave these options at default. This more deals with the database and the browser. Microsoft tends to, as I say, recommend different accounts and so forth for these services. But as this is a basic install, leave everything as is and click next. Here is where we're going to set the password or actually the login for when you log in into the server. Now there are two different options. There are Windows Authorization Mode which basically is the password that you use to log into your Windows PC and it's the password is that you're going to use to log into your server. Then there are Mix Mode which basically you'll be given the option to set a password for SQL itself. So you can enter your password and confirm it on top of the Windows authorization. 
but you're gonna leave it at Windows authorization if it is your more advanced user or you want extra security then you could go for the mix mode data entries you should leave that as default at least in this instance leave this as default and file streaming is basically to stream files um, you should leave this at default to unselected Once you have selected Windows Authorization Mode, just click Next. This is this to send error reports to Microsoft if anything is to happen with your server while running. You could either leave it selected or unselected. I'm going to leave it unselected. Click Next. And this is just showing you the progress of the installation of the silver files and so forth so this will take a few minutes and it will give you a status to you if everything was installed successfully so I'm going to return when it f when it almost finished installing and we are back this should just take a moment And as you can see, everything was installed successfully. It will get your status report on each installation feature that needed to be installed. Once you confirm that everything has succeeded, just click close. And you can close this also. Now we're going to install SQL Management Studio. So right click the file and run as administrator. yes just like SQL Express it's going to extract the files needed for installing so it's going to be a little bit of a deja vu kind of feeling As you can see, we are presented with the same window as before, with planning, installation, maintenance, and so forth. What we're going to go to is the installation yet again, and we're going to select the new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to existing installation. Select that. It's going to process and prepare the files needed for installation. So that should take a moment. They are, it just check for updates so there are no updates online so we could go ahead with the installation click next as there are no updates it skipped the download setup and it to extract the files because it have no idea to install so it is processing the installation and once it finished that window will close and the installation window should open in a moment. As you can see here, this is the installation type. This is the server that we installed earlier. If it is you just came and installed Management Studio, you would not see this. So that's the reason why it is said that you have to install the SQL Express folder first. That is what installs the server onto the computer. So since it's a new installation, we're going to leave it at the default selector, which is performing new selection of SQL Server 2012. If it is you already had this previously installed, you could select the add features to an existing instance 
and use the drop down to select the server that you want to add features to but you're going to go with a new installation click next accept the license terms click next it's going to read out, give you a readout on all the features needed to install you can leave it at management tool basic and SQL client connectivity SDK as selected or just to note also too you should have Microsoft Net Framework 4.0 and 3.5 installed on your computer or else this installation would give trouble especially on Windows 8.1 so you should have it have these software installed on your computer before and as you can see it already tells you that these are the prerequisites and that it's already been installed so you should be good to go you shouldn't get no problems once everything selected there click next this is the same window in terms of errors you don't have to select that click next now it's going to install all the files on the computer needed for management studio and all other features so this should just take 10 minutes or so so I return near the end of the installation and we're back And as you can see, the management tools have been successfully installed. Once you get that green tick by management tools, you just click close and you could close this installation center. And you should be good to go. Just to show that everything is connecting properly. We're going to start SQL management server. So SQL And we're going to start SQL Management Studio. I'm going to run it as administrator. Click yes. Good. And as you can see here, the server name which is Titan, that's the name of my PC is here as we start up Management Studio if you did not install the SQL server, the first file that I showed you you here would be blank so that's the reason why to install and just to show that it's working properly just click connect and as you can see our database and everything is up and running so that is how to install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio on Windows 8.1. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.